Welcome back, guys, one and all, to Let's Play Final Fantasy Record Keeper. We last left off, I was the worst uh, YouTuber Let's Player on YouTube, NA, or World, doesn't matter which. But we're, regardless, we're going to continue on to Baron Castle, guys. Um, difficulty 10, total stamina cost of 22. Cecil and his allies make their way from the city to Baron along Devil's Road. Rescuing a befuddled Yang from the king's control, they infiltrate Baron Castle. We're gonna get another six stamina shards, as well as a mithril and a chopper. And our boss here is Bygen. Okay, so basically we have to prevent his arms from explode, explode, from explodation, as I call it. I want to see if there's something in Roaming Warrior that can kind of help get us that without doing much work, but no. Uh, we're going to actually bring this, because I need a, a, a Sentinel's Grimoire until I can get one. Sentinel Grimoire is Ultimate's um, unique soul break. It's really good. It's a really good wall effect. Almost everyone in higher levels has it. Um, it's, it's like one of the most important ones to get, and I don't know that it's easy to get anymore, but... We're going to try and get it. This might even be a two-bosser, if I remember right. I think it's Bygone and then Cognazzo, even. But Cognazzo might be in the next dungeon. I'm not sure. I forget. For those of you who don't know who Cognazzo is, he's one of the elemental archfiends. Um... He's a boss we're gonna eventually face. I just forget if it's this time around in Mount um, in uh, here or not. All right, so we're through the first section. Yes, we do fight Kagnazo in this one. Okay, so normally in the Final Fantasy IV story, uh, Cognazzo is not the first of the elemental archfiends you face, but in this game he is. Um... Unfortunately, um, in this play or in this game, um, you don't get the entire story; you just get like some of it. So one of the things you miss is um, is. Uh, you actually don't get to see uh, the fight with the original Elemental Archfiend, which was um, which was Scarmiglione. He was the uh, Elemental Archfiend of the Earth, and uh, you fight him in Mount Ordeals. There was an event that had him there, but uh, you don't actually get to do that in the in the normal realms, unfortunately. Um, it was kind of funny because they skipped things early on, and now like late game they don't miss a detail so basically they're they're stalling out for the end game as long as they can because they're getting in terms of where they are in the realm dungeons right now they're getting really close to the end game in several of the final fantasy games like in final fantasy 6 you're in kefka's tower in final fantasy 7 i believe you're getting ready to start the uh northern cave for the last time um in four you're in the lunar subterray and um one, you're starting the, the Chaos Shrine of Yore. Um, and, yeah, so you're getting we're getting close to the end of the game. Um, but they're they're grinding out, or they're giving us every optional super boss and everything like that, that that's optional, and including it in the story so that we have to do it. Um, which I get trying to, you know, draw the game out as long as you can, because it's not going to last forever, but... Um, that's why they're at uh, once a month updates right now. So we're gonna hopefully uh, start seeing some end game bosses soon. Like um, we did have in a few months back in Final Fantasy, there was a Final Fantasy one event where you did get to fight the final boss, uh, Chaos. But um, that was like a one off, and they haven't done anything like that since. So. In the Realm Dungeons, you can't fight Chaos yet, but...
All right, time to fight Vigan. Vigan's not a terrible boss, but you gotta just know how to take him out. Basically, the goal's gonna be kill his arms, hit him with ice. Okay, so one of his arms self-destructed and we didn't get to use ice, so we basically have to pull off Cognaza without, you know, really fucking this up. Or we're gonna be in uh, rough shape and we're not gonna mastery this one. Yeah, see, this isn't great. The unfortunate part is we got RNG fucked with, um, getting holded by, uh, on our Black Mage. The nice thing is, with Cognazo. We can kind of play a little careful here. I hope, anyway. Alright, so this is Sentinel's Grimoire. It's a wall effect. I need him to go into his, uh, water form, and... Cool. Now we pulled that off perfect, so we should still get mastery for this dungeon. Um, even though the Bygen fight royally fucked me. Okay, we got it. Whew, that was a little scary. Twas a little bit scary. And that's the furthest we can go in Final Fantasy VI for now. So before we... We're not going to start a new dungeon on uh, this episode. I'm going to go ahead and visit very, very quickly and very, very briefly the uh, event dungeon for Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, we'll follow that. So we need to get up to 50, um... We need to get up to 50, uh... Mithril to get a, another Relic draw. But we're gonna go ahead and start the Spark Before the Fate. We're gonna do a little bit more Event Dungeon stuff before we start the next, uh... Before we start the next, um... World. Um... Which, we're done with Final Fantasy, uh, we're done with Final Fantasy 4 for now. We will be doing, it, more dungeons do unlock. They just try to do them in order so that you don't get, like, too far ahead in some of the dungeons and the difficulty gets too difficult. But, um, Final Fantasy 9 is not accessible in, uh, the Realm Dungeon and to the point where I'm at yet, but it is, uh, for people who have grinded through all the Realm Dungeons. So, for most players, at this point in the game, this is the first chance you get to actually explore the realms of Final Fantasy 9. Which we don't have any characters for yet. Ah, here we go. So yeah, these are pretty quick dungeons. I'll probably try and do squeeze three dungeons out total for this level, or for this video. Um, the one uh, Final Fantasy IV dungeon, and then two uh, uh, Final Fantasy IX event dungeons. And I may even do another episode with more of the Final Fantasy XIII event, just to try and get as much done, um, as far as, uh, as far as, um, these events as much as I can do, because I could probably get, like, the, um, first five or six done in each of these events, but not much after that. 
because you start getting to level 50, 60, 70 difficulties, and it's, it gets really hard to keep up with, with where I'm at uh, level-wise, so. Now, I could do it with the Roaming Warriors, but I would run the risk of dying, and it, it's, it's too big of a risk, especially, uh, you know, recording a bunch of videos and having something go wrong in the middle of one of them, it would be pretty awful. <laughs> Yeah, we could probably squeeze out three, I'd say. We could probably squeeze out three this uh, this episode, and probably the next. Uh, doing events, you can probably get away with squeezing out a little bit more content for the same amount of time, because in the Realm Dungeons, I'll try to read, like, some story. I'll try to, you know, keep you guys updated as far as that, what's going on. But, um... In, uh... Come on, there we go. But in um, the Realm Dungeons, I do like to spend more time with the story and stuff, so that's why I kind of go a little bit slower. Also, since you got an idea now of how the character stats are, I'm going to just kind of highlight the important parts of what makes a character good and their soul break, um, and not highlight what makes them shit, you know. So, you can kind of see what they do anyway, but I'll like say, hey, he's got really good attack, or so-so this ability, you know, so. Just a quick highlight on it. Alright. I've been trying to upload one episode of this a day to, to the YouTube channel. Hey, it's a prison cage. Oh, that's rude. I guess we'll just have to kill you. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do one more dungeon. We're gonna get a character for finishing this. So let's see who that character is. Steiner! He's got really good HP and defense and attack and so-so accuracy and speed. So, not bad. He's a solid pickup. And it's a character from Final Fantasy IX, which we don't have access to yet. So, hey. We'll take it. And we get the next area of the event. As well as 40 growth eggs and a mithril. Uh, lesser growth eggs, I should add. I'll explain as we go here how the growth eggs work. Um, just so everybody knows how they work. Okay, so here we get Zidane, a Mithril, uh, five actual fire orbs, and a uh, piece of clothing, three-star clothing. So, hey. Continuing on in the Evil Forest. Alright. So, Growth Eggs in Final Fantasy Record Keeper are, like, uh, basically an experience boost. Um, there is a minor Growth Egg, which is, just as it sounds, minor. You get a little bit of experience, not much, but, you know, if you're super low level, they're great. They do fine. Then, uh, there's Lesser, which does better. I think it's, like, 2,500 experience per Lesser Growth Egg, so it's solid. I'd say it's solid. Then there's Growth Egg. Growth Eggs are really good, um... They, I think it gives you 10,000 experience for, for Growth Egg. So they're solid. They're solid to pick up. Um, then there's Greater Growth Egg, which is really good. Um, you get one every, I think, four days in um, your login bonuses, as well as uh, some of the dungeons offer them later. Um, and then there's a Major Growth Egg. And the Major Growth Egg gives you a whopping 250,000 experience. So they're really good for characters at high, high levels that you're trying to... If you don't want to spend a lot of time grinding, pushing through some of those high-end levels, like level 80s, 90s, um, they will level you up super quick at low levels. Like, you can go, I think, from 25 to 50 with one or two of them. Uh, they're pretty substantial. They're, they're a lot harder to get your hands on, though. Um, the event dungeons are the best way to get them. You can get them at higher levels, like level, I think, 80 or 90 offer them. So uh, that's just a, you know, general... 
synopsis on growth eggs as we were kind of plowing through this dungeon here real quick. Um, not much to this dungeon so far. We're going to get another character after this. I'll show you guys how the growth eggs work. I kind of showed you a little bit when I uh, leveled up uh, Squall pretty... I mean, not Squall. Uh, Cloud pretty high level. We don't have Squall yet. Duh. God damn it, Dave, you dumbass. Um... So, I'll kind of show you again, though. Um, I'll probably use one on one of my mages. Uh, maybe my black mage. Or on Cloud again, just so we can get him to level 50 a little bit quicker. Or, you know. A little bit more experience. Alright, so we've got one section left, and then I'll show you guys how growth eggs work, and that's probably we're going to end this episode. I'm going to record two more episodes today, um, still, and then do a couple more tomorrow. I want to do a lot of recording um, before uh, my trial runs out, so that way I can, you know, before I buy my air server, I want to just get as much content out as I can for free. Uh, air server is only 20 bucks up front, so it's, it's worth it, but it's one of those things, especially if you're going to be streaming it's, or doing any kind of, you know, mobile streaming, it's well worth the money. So, speaking of which, I will be uh, setting up my, uh, I'll be setting up my uh, Streamlabs page for the uh, channel, and um, I'll be trying to, as if I get YouTube donations, I'll be trying to set it up to where uh, I'll pop those YouTube uh, donations up on, um, on the stream so you guys can be thanked for your... Uh, Okay, that's awful. That was really bad luck. Come on, Orlando! Finish the job. No big deal, we just did 100k damage there. Overstrike Soul Breaks are really OP at low levels, but since he blinded our entire party, I was like, yeah, it's probably a good time to do this. And we get Zidane, who's got solid attack, solid HP, and really good speed. He's a thief class, so that's kind of to be expected. So yeah, we're going to get him a piece of uh, three-star clothing, as well as some fire orbs and a mithril. Alright, so real quick before we go, I'm going to show you guys how growth eggs work. Um, I'm going to go into my upgrades and inventory at the bottom left right-hand corner. Um, go down to growth eggs go to cloud we're gonna use all 40 on him and then again he's getting higher levels so it's not gonna do as much but he's level 30 now and we got five growth eggs for that so let's go ahead and um we're raising him to level 30 let's go ahead and collect that like i said i put all my eggs in my basket on cloud right now now put him almost to level 32 so when we come back we're gonna do a little bit more exploration with the uh event dungeon and uh, continue on, so I'll catch you guys then. Later.